Welcome. In this video, I want to talk about a feature that was rolled out on Firefox a while back. It's called DNS over HTTPS. And the reason this is relevant right now is because Firefox has been transitioning to make this the default for their browser. So this may not have been enabled on your Firefox browser, but it probably will be in the future. So if I go to a website like www.usbank.com, for the browser to find US Bank, what it has to do is go out to a directory and find out the IP address of US Bank. So this would be like looking up someone's name in a phone book. That is not always an encrypted process. So what DNS over HTTPS does is that encrypts that process. So people like on your local network or at your ISP can't tell exactly what websites you're going to. So once I load this, you'll see that the lock icon is in place. So that means we have encrypted data now. So no one can see the actual transaction processing, but say you live in an apartment complex that has some sort of a shared internet system and you go to US Bank and someone's snooping that and they see that you went to US Bank. They don't have to know your account number, they don't have to know any of that information, but if they could find out where you live, they could maybe call you and say, hey, I'm with US Bank, I just noticed that you were on our account. Well, that might have been true. And then they might scam you somehow. So what this does is this forwards the DNS from your location to a remote um, DNS server and that's an encrypted process that goes over HTTPS. So it goes over the same protocol that's used in a regular website. So what you want to do is make sure you're on the latest version of Firefox. So if you click over here to the right on the little menu, you can go down here to Preferences, and then scroll down on this page to Firefox Updates. It says we're on version 7.5. It says Restart to Update Firefox, so I'll do that. Okay, and you see here it says we're on 7601, and if we go back in on that menu, you'll see we have 7601, it says Firefox is up to date. So this should update itself, and if it's not, you probably want to fix that. So if this isn't auto-updating, you'd probably want to make sure you have this automatically install updates checked. If it still isn't updating automatically, you might want to uninstall and reinstall it to make sure that you're using the latest version. So you may have noticed a little pop-up here. It says, more secure encrypted DNS lookups. Your privacy matters. Firefox now securely routes your DNS requests whenever possible to a partner service to protect you while you browse. And you can say disable or OK got it. So I'll hit OK got it. And while we're in preferences, we can scroll down here to the bottom where it says network settings, and we can hit settings here. And if you look down at the bottom here, it says enable DNS over HTTPS. And then it says use provider Cloudflare default. And then it says next DNS and custom. So you could choose this next DNS or you could go to custom and you could enter in the address there of the DNS. So I'll just hit OK here because I want to leave this enabled. So there are some reasons you may not want to use this. If you have software that, say, uh, watches your kids' internet access using DNS, then this will bypass that. Another thing, if you're on a corporate network and you want to use the corporate DNS, then you're going to want to disable this on your computers because this will be bypassing that. So the way this works is it tries to resolve it using the DNS over HTTPS. And if that doesn't work, it will fall back to your standard DNS settings on your computer or your network. So I'll open up another tab here and I'll paste in an address. And this waterheater.local is resolved locally on the network. And it's a it's like a, almost like a peer-to-peer -peer type of a name service. So I'll hit enter here. And I don't know if this is actually going out over HTTPS or maybe the browser knows it's local automatically right away, but it still does work. If every single thing was being sent over that DNS over HTTPS, then that could break this, but this is working, so I don't think that's a problem there. But I think this service is specifically good for people that travel a lot. So if you're in a hotel or you work in cafes a lot on public Wi-Fi, that HTTPS you see in the uh, address bar there, uh, that shows you're being protected, but like I said, DNS isn't always protected. So enabling that DNS over HTTPS makes sure everything you do is um, encrypted. So it is still important that if you uh, ever go to a site and you have that lock up there, but it says it's not an authentic one, that you uh, heed the warnings because there could still be scammers out there doing some things trying to trick you, but the browsers these days are pretty smart and they'll typically tell you if they think something isn't right. So that's all for this video. If you have any questions about this, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.